Introducing the all new Corolla. Stevedores at the Port Authority stopped spider infested cargo from being offloaded not once, but twice, after a ship passed customs inspections last week and again over the weekend. Their first catch was on Thursday evening when spider webs and black widow spiders were spotted as cargo was unlashed from the Greenridge. Customs officials were called back and the cargo ship was ordered out to harbor until extermination efforts could begin. On Friday uh, evening, about 6 o'clock, they started the treatment process of the cargo that was coming in on board the ship. Customs Public Information Officer John Rick Mendiola says the Green Ridge was cleared a second time at 2 a.m. Saturday. But Customs biosecurity officials were called back only a few hours later. Uh, at about 5 o'clock uh, later on that morning, uh, they were called back again by Port uh, Stevedores. Uh, informed, they, they were informed by the Stevedores that uh, another area of the ship that contained cargo was also found to be infested. So our biosecurity officers immediately responded to the port and uh, they conducted another uh, inspection of the new area within the cargo ship and a, a second round of treatment was done. On the, sh on, on the area. After the second infestation was reported, Mendiola says inspections expanded from the cargo facility to the entire ship, with additional infestations discovered. Pestex handled the extermination efforts. Mendiola says those efforts included spot treatment, saturation of the area, and fogging. Additional treatments were made uh, on board the ship of all the cargo that was coming off. As part of our process, uh, all items that were being removed after that point were thoroughly inspected and treated before it, it was able to be offloaded dockside. But all of this was done with the Green Ridge tied up dockside and not out at sea. Port General Manager Joanne Brown says the ship was too large to handle the extermination in the harbor. I don't think anyone understands the magnitude of how large a vessel has to be to bring over 600 different pieces of equipment. And all that equipment was not unloaded here on Guam. It had other, point, uh, other ports of destination. But the big question is, how did customs officers miss the spiders during their first two inspections of the ship? Why was it that uh, customs officials weren't able to see the, the infestations those first two times that it was cleared? Uh, you know, there's, there's uh, different factors. Um, the size of the ship, uh, the space to work around on the ship. So those, those, are, those are things that, that could have been the reason why. So uh, we are looking into it to find out exactly um, what was the initial, what was done in the initial course of inspection. Meanwhile, Senator Chris Duaneus plans to honor the stevedores who caught the infestations with a legislative presentation next week. Brown says that's something the port welcomes. Well, I think that's a very wonderful thing. I mean, you know, it's not our primary job of our employees to go on board. Their job is to move cargo, and that's something they have the expertise and, and do very well. Uh, we certainly appreciate the, uh, the attention that they're getting in a very positive way because they are making that extra effort. Uh, and certainly any time that I know our people see things that are of concern, they're going to report it. Brown adds that the island will likely face this problem again and says the Department of Agriculture, Customs and the Port will need to meet to ensure the proper protocols are in place. She adds that infestations like this not only put the island at risk of taking on another invasive species, they also cause delays that cost the port and shipping companies time and money. Betsy Brown, PNC News.